If you're a school community owner and you also use Go High Level to run your sales and your marketing, then in this video, I'm going to show you a Go High Level snapshot that I've created specifically for school community owners. And this is going to help you to automatically follow up with your new community members fast and over a long period of time so that you can turn those new members into high ticket clients, paid community members, or both. And we've got some cool AI appointment setting stuff to show you. So stick around and we're going to do a walkthrough of the complete snapshot. Before we jump into the snapshot, I wanted to give you a quick overview of our community funnel. So this is the same funnel that we use, we teach to our clients, and it's the same model that the snapshot I'm going to be showing you is built around. So we teach a free to paid community model. And this model works great whether you're trying to convert your members into a high ticket coaching program or service, a paid community, or both. And so it works like this. First of all, you have your traffic channels, wherever you drive traffic from, that can be Instagram, that can be YouTube, that can be Facebook, Facebook ads. And so all of your content there or your ads are gonna have a call to action where you're driving people into the community. You can either do that by promoting the community itself or some, some sort of free lead magnet or free course. Now, once they join the community, now they're gonna be pushed into your high level account and they're gonna go into a nurture sequence that nurture sequence is built to do a few th different things. First of all, it's built to drive people back to the community, to engage in the community, also to consume your free course or your free content to kind of build your know, like, and trust. And then the final thing is to try to book a discovery call. So each of our emails has a call to action to book that discovery call. And then also we have a DM that's going out uh, through school, automated DM trying to book that call. And then inside of our classroom, all of our lessons have that booking a call. And the way that we position the call and we teach you to position that call makes it a really strong value prop so that people actually want to book that call. And so that is pretty much everywhere. And then inside of our free community, we make posts inside the community that also gets people on this discovery call. Now inside of the snapshot, we'll show you that we have all the call reminders and confirmation set up inside of the snapshot. And then once they get on this call, we have a conversation with them. We see if we can actually help them solve their problems. And if they're a good fit, then we can either decide whether they're a good fit for our high ticket program. And if they are, we'll book a strategy call, which we also have set up in the snapshot. Or if they're a better fit and they just don't have the money for the high ticket, we can downsell them into our paid community. And so that's how the paid to free, the free to paid community model works. Now let's head over to the snapshot and let's show you how we are executing this model in the snapshot. All right, let's start by taking a look at the funnels that are included in the snapshot. So we've got a few funnels here. First of all, if you don't have a privacy policy or earnings disclaimer page, We've got those in there built in for you. A lead magnet funnel, and this is a basically a traditional um, high ticket funnel if you'd like to use it. Again, most people uh, that have school communities, the school community is the funnel, but if you wanted to use this high ticket funnel, you certainly could. So I'm gonna open this up. You've got the opt-in page, which is like a lead magnet or a VSL, and then they click this button, they opt-in. Once they opt-in, they're gonna to go to the VSL page where you actually have a VSL trying to convince them to book a call. And then once they click that, they're gonna to go to the call booking page. And then once they've booked, they're gonna to go to the call confirmation page. You can have a bunch of testimonials down here. You can basically say, hey, congrats on booking your call. Here's what to expect. And then get people to actually show up for the call. So. Let's go back and let's look at the rest of the funnels. So when you actually create a calendar on high level, you get a long, ugly link. So we've actually created some funnels that are much better looking. And so you can actually have the URL and the URLs uh, better looking too. So you can actually attach it to your domain and then actually send people that link if they want to ha get your calendar link. So those are the different funnels that are included in the snapshot. Now let's head over and let's talk about the automations that are included. All right, so let's go through the automations. I'm gonna show you a brief overview of some of them and then the highlights, we're gonna dig in a little bit deeper, the ones that I think that you're really gonna like. First one here is a beta launch. I never wanna build a course or a coaching program and then try to sell it after I've built it. I want to promote it, sell it, and then bring in a small group of people that I can build the program with, and then I can dial it in, I can get case studies and testimonials, and they get a deal, they get a discounted price, and they get more access to me. And so this email sequence is a two-week email sequence to promote that beta launch to your list. One of the next things that we teach in our program is YouTube. So when we create a YouTube 
video and we publish that YouTube video, we want to get as many views as possible in the first 24 hours. So to do that, one of the things that we can do is we can send the video to our list. So this workflow here is meant to send your video to your list when you publish it. Okay, so basically we've got an email here and the structure of the email, we've got the subject line, got a brief little introduction, and then we have the thumbnail that's clickable that's gonna send them to the video to watch that video. Now the other thing that we have here is we send the email once and then we wait a day, and then we actually look and see if your contact actually opened that email. If they didn't open the email, then we're gonna resend the same email with a different subject line to see if we can get them to open and then go watch the video, okay? So that's that workflow, and I believe that everybody should have a YouTube channel, so this is gonna help you to promote that and then every time you create another video you can just duplicate this workflow edit the emails and then you're ready to broad that broadcast that to your list this is when a new lead comes in maybe you're using the funnel to generate a new lead and they actually are not joining your community yet with the webhook from school we can automatically send that person an invite when they become a lead in GHL, and that's what that workflow does. Like I said earlier, um, we've got the funnel in the snapshot that's a high ticket funnel, and the first page of that funnel is an opt-in to potentially be a lead magnet or a VSL. If it's a lead magnet, this particular workflow is gonna deliver that lead magnet and then try to get them to join the community if they haven't already. Okay, so that's that workflow. Then this is um, going to be a highlight here. So this is the new member workflow. So we've got a, ser a series of different workflows in here. The first one is an email sequence when somebody joins your community. This is the exact email sequence that we are using to get people to uh, book calls with us. And it's working really, really well to book calls. Now, not only are we trying to book calls with this nurture sequence, but we're also trying to drive people back to the community so that they engage with the community and also consume your free content so that you build that know, like, and trust and actually nurture the lead. So I won't bore you with all the things that we're doing here, but basically we're resubscribing the lead if they've unsubscribed. We're updating the date that they joined our free community so that we can uh, keep track of the sales cycle and how long it takes to turn somebody into a high ticket client or a paid member and then we've got the exact emails that we send our list that you can just come in and edit and tweak for your individual business so that you'll have a proven email sequence to send to your new members to try to get them to book calls and, and drive them back to the community. We're doing the same thing here that we did with the YouTube broadcast. We're sending the email, waiting a day, and then if they don't open, we'll resend it with a different subject line. If they did open the email, they'll just go to the second email and then once we've actually sent the first email with the different subject line, we'll actually just continue down the sequence. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. We also have a SMS follow-up that if you are collecting the phone number on your membership questions when somebody joins your community, this is gonna follow up with those people to make sure that they got all access to everything that they need and also try to book a call with those people. Now, if they respond to this actual SMS um, workflow, now we have an AI appointment setter that's gonna take over that conversation and then work to book the call for you. So you don't have to sit around your phone, you don't have to open the mobile app when somebody responds, and then the people that are responding to you don't have to wait too long to get a response. This, this AI appointment setter is gonna take that over and book a call with you. And then we also have a community nurture for people when they join your paid community if you have a paid community. Then once we actually have people and they've gone through the initial nurture sequence, they haven't booked a call yet, we want to continue to follow up with those people. We don't just want to end that conversation. We want to continue to nurture them over a longer period of time to continuously put that valuable call in front of them. So these two nurture sequences are going to follow up with your leads over 12 weeks. We also have a tool if you become one of our paid community members that will actually create these emails for you so you don't have to write them from scratch. So that's gonna follow up with your leads over a longer period of time to try to get them to book a call. Then we have our calendars. We have several different calendars here. We have the discovery call. Remember, that's the first call when somebody comes into our membership to try to decide if they're a good fit for a hard ticket or our paid membership. And then we can book a strategy call. So each of the calendars that we have has the same set of workflows. We have the confirmation and reminders workflow that's going to confirm the appointment. It's going to send reminders a day before, an hour before, and 10 minutes before to make sure that we get those people to show up on the call. If they cancel or no show, 
we can put them into one of these workflows to try to get them to rebook. And then once the call is complete, we can add them to this workflow to mark that actual appointment as showed. You want to be able to have good reporting on your call process and your call uh, effectiveness to know how many people showed up, how many people no showed, how many people closed, those kind of things. So you can understand how you're performing on your sales calls. And then the same thing we have for the strategy call. We also have a personal calendar. So if you want to be able to book calls that aren't necessarily sales calls, you can do that in the system and they have the same um, workflow series as the sales calls. Coaching calls, these are the same as same email sequence, workflow sequence as the sales and the personal calendars. So that is basically the automations in the system. If you want to get your hands on this snapshot, then you've got two options. You can either purchase it directly or you can become an annual member of our Community Builders Elite School community and you get a little discount if you choose that option. So I'm going to drop a link in the description for both of those options. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.